Wow, that was big, wasn't it? That was uh, quite interesting. <laughs> I've never had it that bad before. No, That'll yeah. make a good video. Position light on, taxi light on. Bianchi, contact Bournemouth Tower, 125.6. 125.6 with Bournemouth Tower, golf, so good afternoon, Bianchi, a very good afternoon. 156, so the after departure frequency should be 119.475, so let's just preempt that. Bianchi, line of weight, runway 26. Line of weight, 26, golf, uh, November Bianchi. Yankee, left turn runway 26, clear take off, surface wind 240 degrees 8 knots. Left turn 26, clear take off, uh, Golf Sudan, Yankee. Okay, you ready guys? Yeah. Big <laughs> runway. So, just going to line up and just check everything. Temperatures and pressures are green. We've been clear take off 2,000 feet to the southeast with a left turn. Okay. So, here we go. Let's do this. Feet to the floor, full power. Airspeed's rising, temperatures and pressures are green, 50 knots, 55, rotate, it's a very hot day today, climb at 66, can you hear me guys? Yeah. Cool, I'll just turn it down a little bit, it's getting a bit noisy, it's the air con. Climbing away, very nicely. 73. All trimmed. Whoa, oh. feel that. Did you feel that? Yeah. That'll do, we'll turn left over the houses now. Landing light off. Might get a little bumpy in a second. Whoa. Woo! <laughs> Whoa. Radar 119475, Golf November Yankee. Golf November Yankee, level of 5,000 feet. Golf November Yankee, roger. Golf November Yankee, well clear by airspace now, so I'll terminate my service. You can squawk 7,000 and free call your en route frequency. Bye bye. 7,000, and thank you very much for your help today. Have a great day, Golf November Yankee. But, uh, we're going quite a bit out of the way of water. So the waypoint we're going to, Nally, is uh, we're rooting to Bogner, which is south of Bogner Regis. And then on the south coast, you can see that bit of a, uh, it looks like the White Cliffs of Dover, but it's not the White Cliffs of Dover. It's just to the head there. So it's like a, it's like a waypoint on there that the uh, commercial air, airline pilots use. Okay. And we can use it as well, because they've got all the instruments here. So I'm actually going to tune it in. Frequency for that is 1170. So, that is it. Even tells you the winds, because it's basically calculating the wind based on the GPS. So 17 knot tailwind on top of our speed. Also, if you know if you notice, we cruise at 120, 125, but because we're higher up, the pressure altitude's different. Uh, we cruise at a true air speed of 115, that looks like to me. 110, 115, 113 true air speed which is around about 125 knots at the ground level. But as we're higher up, pressure's lower, we're moving a lot quicker through the air. Now keep a good look out for stuff going in and out of Shoreham for me. Pub radar, very good afternoon to you. Golf Sula Alpha and the Yankee, south of uh, Worthing at this time, 5,000 feet. Golf Sula Alpha Yankee, Pub radar, identified traffic service, reduce traffic information as you're on edge of my radar cover, research score 1734, QNH 1016. 1734, that's all copy, QNH 1016, Golf November Yankee. Number one, that's round two. It's working now. QNH 1016. Might be the sun. It's, it's going to be the sun, that's what I said. I need a cover around it. Yeah. 
it was it was hot as heck and i don't think it was the camera's fault because that was hot as heck it still is hot as heck but we're going to start the set in a minute because of the airspace there uh, they're going to do a slow slow descent to three and a half thousand feet and in two and a half thousand feet it would be almost home it's not that far to go to be honest sounds good Another half an hour or so. Yep. And a go from November Yankee on reaching Seaford will be descending to 3,400 feet to remain outside controlled airspace. When you're on a traffic service, you have to let them know what you're doing. Whereas if we was up, up there, they'd tell us what to do. Yeah. <laughs> right, guys. So obviously, because it's an IFR flight plan as such in there, yeah. uh, it's, it's a bit of a weird one. So this aircraft's got a coupled autopilot can fly ILS approaches, but when it's on GPS mode, the GPS tells you what to do. You don't have to dial the lover line, the yellow thing here, to the correct heading, and it will fly that very, very accurately. So you'll see it come up in a minute. I don't know if it's bumpy, it's just the, uh, the heat. And then when we go over this lot here, it might be a little bit more bumpy because of the heat. <laughs> Alright, don't worry about it, it's fine. Hey, 2004, because it's less bumpy ever. Well, you said that. <laughs> I thought it might be. <laughs> That's a thermal. Yep. We're riding a thermal activity, yeah. It's like being on the glider. Leaving altitude. Feel that, the thermal kept pulled the airplane up. You okay in the back? Yeah. Enjoying it. Sorry about the bumps and lumps. <laughs> oh, here we go again. It's the houses, isn't it? It is. You're avoiding the, you were avoiding the forest but going straight over the houses. What do you reckon's worse, the forest or the houses, though? Uh, definitely the houses. Huh? Definitely the houses. Yeah. It's th thermal activity, it's horrible. Because it's just, it's just right, good for gliding, though. Oh, Fly all day with this height. Yeah, heat. definitely. You know what thermals are, don't you? Obviously. Yeah. yeah. That's why you get the wings going like that, as it's in there. Go for it. Oh. Oh. Gosh, that was bumpy. <laughs> Just went right back out over the houses. Uh, Roger, uh, we do have a Embraer 190. I don't know if that's it. A firm with visual. Aim for the Radio Golf, Sulu Alpha, November Yankee. Go on, Sulu Alpha, November Yankee, just north of uh, Dartford Crossing, this time 1,800 feet. So, uh, requesting airport information. 21 left, 1016. 21 left, 1016, Golf, November Yankee. I got traffic at my 12 o'clock, same height. Let's him know I've seen him. What we do is we stay right up the motorway, because that's where everyone else will be doing. Behind him and behind him, so let's go like this. Go off of Ember Yankees approaching uh, three miles to run, visual with the traffic just ahead. Final two on left full stop. Hey, lights on. Westerly uh, six knots. 
Traffic around me, power's out. No traffic at the moment. Charlie Tango, descending dead side. Can you see your house, Natalie? I don't know where it is. <laughs> uh, where's Towie Land from here? We're turning left in a minute and then we're going onto that runway there at Stableford. Okay. You have to do a certain joining procedure at this airport because it's so busy. So oh. keep a look out, see if you can get a good picture. <laughs> you feel that? Yeah. I did, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And we just had a drop of about 100 foot. Oh my god. Uh, the Sabre 03 is joining tight left space for a glide approach to land. Yeah. Golf Sid Alpha November Yankees left base 2 1 left. Wow, that was big, wasn't it? That was uh, quite interesting. <laughs> I've never had it that bad before. No, That'd no. make a good video. Oh yeah. my god. I literally uh, went out of my seat. <laughs> so did yeah, I. so did I. I might get it again coming in, I doubt yeah. it. Go up to the afternoon, we're Yankee final 2 1 left, visual with the going around. And uh, see you after November Yankee, request my check. Well, not much of it, so uh, about less than time and westerly. Roger. Okay. Oh, I can't wait to see that on the video clip. Alright, so that's two on left, 70 knots. To make the runway. Confident, ready to flare. That was a bit harsh, wasn't it? We literally left our seats. <laughs> you classify that as severe turbulence, Andrew? Complete <laughs> loss of control of the aircraft. I wouldn't say it was that. It, it, it's severe for this aircraft, but it's... It was, wasn't it? Yeah. Not all for us, I suppose. Yeah, I, I imagine exactly for commercial aircraft it would be well, right. That's quite. That was quite a big jolt, wasn't it? Yeah.